This week on The Muse, we celebrate the birth of our TV studio's namesake. Happy birthday to the great and talented Clarence Muse. Plus, are you signed up for Paris Alerts? Serena Marie has all the details on how you can stay informed on major events happening in Paris. And Harvest Festival is this weekend. You don't want to miss this event or it just might haunt you. It's all ahead on the Weekly Muse and it starts right now. Hello, City of Paris. I'm Stephen Hale from the Clarence Muse Center in Paris, California, and welcome to the Muse. Happy birthday, Clarence Muse, our TV studio's namesake. Muse was born on October 14, 1889 in Baltimore, Maryland to Alexander Muse and Mary A. Kellum. He was an actor best known for 1943's Shadow of a Doubt. Muse earned a degree in international law from the Dickinson School of Law of Pennsylvania in 1911, and Muse was upset with the minimal opportunities available to black lawyers, so he went into show business and had quite the successful career. He was an outspoken proponent for black performers' favorable treatment in film and was the first black director of a Broadway show. Muse appeared as an opera singer, a minstrel performer, and a vaudeville actor, and also composed songs, plays, and short sketches. He was a pioneer in the black theater movement by the 1920s and was acting in New York during the time of the Harlem Renaissance. Although his Hollywood film assignments generally confined him to stereotypes, Muse rose above those portrayals, fighting demeaning, demeaning stereotypes for most of his career. During World War II, Muse also served as a member of the Hollywood Victory Committee that arranged celebrity appearances overseas. Muse acted for 50 years and appeared in more than 150 films and was inducted into the Black Filmmakers Hall of Fame in 1973. Muse passed away on October 13, 1979, age 89, in his home in Paris, California. On February 13, 2020, the city of Paris honored Muse by naming its Paris TV studio and information technology department building the Clarence Muse Center. Happy birthday, Clarence Muse, and may you forever be in our hearts. And moving on, have you signed up for Smart 911? Paris Alerts is the city of Paris's emergency alert and warning notification system, which rapidly sends notifications to all residents and businesses in an affected area where there's a potential emergency or disaster. For more information on this, here's Serena Marie. Be honest, there's a bunch of useless apps on your phone right now, right? Did you know that the City of Paris has an app that could save your life? Avoid being unprepared and download the Smart 911 app today. Paris Alerts is the City of Paris's emergency alert and warning notification system, which rapidly sends notifications to all residents and businesses in an affected area when there's an emergency or a disaster. Users will have access to instant severe weather alerts, traffic updates, and event reminders. Smart 911 is highly rated and used by many states and local governments. Sign up in less than 30 seconds by texting Paris Alerts to 67283 or create your custom profile at cityofparis.org forward slash Paris Alerts and start protecting yourself and your family today. Be like so many other Paris residents and download today. Thanks, Serena. The City of Paris, in partnership with the County of Riverside Emergency Management Department, hosted a Community Emergency Response Team, or CERT Team, course this past weekend. The CERT program educates volunteers about disaster preparedness for the hazards that may impact their area and trains people in learning about the basic disaster response skills. Through CERT, the capabilities to prepare for, respond to, and recover from disasters is built and enhanced. People successfully learned how to complete the practical exercises with hands-on instruction in fire suppression, search and rescue, cribbing, and medical training, and each received a 20-hour certificate of completion. Please stay informed through our social media pages and website for future courses. The next CERT course will be held in spring of 2024. And now let's take a look at your five-day forecasts. Well, summer just won't let go, and that means a few more hot days ahead, cooling significantly as we head into next week. The wind will blow mostly out of the west. 
The expected high temperatures will drop almost 30 degrees between today and Monday. And we will also have a 25% chance of rain. So make sure and take a jacket and umbrella with you if you're going to be outdoors on Sunday and Monday. Stay safe, Paris. And now back to the studio. Thanks, me, for that weather report. Excited to see those temperatures cool down. All right, wrapping up today, a couple items before we go. The Downtown Paris Skills Center is coming along nicely, and new beams and structural support has recently gone up. Construction is moving ahead for the two-story, 13,700 square foot training facility on approximately three and a half acres of city-owned properties at the northeast corner of First Street and D Street. The facility will consist of a comprehensive skill center with equipment and resources that develop the workforce needed to support a robust, robust economy in the region. By providing local manufacturing companies immediate access to a local skilled workforce, these manufacturing companies will be less dependent on distant neighboring workforce. We expect completion in spring summer of 2024. And we hope you'll join us this Friday. Community Services has a spooky, fun-filled night full of games, costume contests, performances, haunted mazes, and yes, lots and lots of candy. Join us for the annual Harvest Festival event on Friday, October 20th from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. right here on the City Hall lawn located at 101 North D Street in Paris. Game booth tickets will be on sale on site at the Harvest Festival don't miss the, this event or it just might haunt you. And finally, don't forget about our pumpkin carving contest. Let's fall into, into the fall spirit and kick things off with our Paris Pumpkins Contest. Paris Pumpkins Contest is back again and we can't wait to see your skills in three categories that will be included this year with all ages combined. That's for best design, most creative, and PTV staff pick. Best Design and Most Creative will win a $50 gift card and the PTV Pick will win a $100 gift card. All entries will be selected by the Paris TV team. All you have to do to enter is upload a picture of your carved pumpkin on social media with the hashtag Paris Pumpkins on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter, or you can email us directly at socialmedia at cityofparis.org. All submissions must be in by October 31st with the winners being announced on the November 10th Weekly Muse. And that'll do it for your weekly muse. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at City of Paris. And subscribe to the Paris TV YouTube channel for around-the-clock continued coverage wherever you are from your tablet or smartphone device. From the Clarence Muse Center in Paris, California, I'm Stephen Hale, and that's the muse.